There are literally hundreds of thousands of Haas machines around the world in use today, but this UMC 500 is the first in the world to have an active touchscreen. Let's take a look. So Haas has recently come out with touchscreens in some of their machines. And I think what I've been told is that it's, it's first on the mills and then maybe the lathes, but uh, we are a beta tester for this Haas touchscreen. And so some of the machines have actually shipped with the touchscreen hardware, but the software hasn't been enabled. That's the difference with our machine. The software is enabled. So most customers, they might notice this new icon right up there. That shows a little uh, finger with a touch. Most of them have a line through it, meaning it's hardware ready, software disabled. Ours is enabled. Let me give you a tour of what it looks like. Now with the touchscreen, any one of these boxes kind of brings up any other thing that's logically attached to it. For example, the positions. I touch that and there's the user positions. As before, I would have to come down here and go to positions. I don't need to do that, I just touch it. Timers and counters takes you to the current commands tab. And then from there you can tab around if you want to, or you can simply touch the tabs and go around to them. Now, a few things stood out to me initially. First of all, the touch targets, because we are in the beta testing mode, the touch targets aren't great. I wanna touch um, 1,010. I'm gonna touch with my finger where I think it's going and see how it went to 1,011. It's because the touch target and my eye aren't synchronized like I'm used to with working with a tablet or my phone. Now, a few settings you can change. Um, if you go to your settings tab and you page through, you're not gonna see these, but the technician that enabled the software told us that if you go to messages, he wrote down all of the settings that you can change. For example, the one that I like to look at is table row size, setting 383. So I'm gonna go into settings, you know, type in 383, press down, and there's my table row size. Now all Haas machines with the next gen control to this point have a default of small. If I page over or uh, arrow over, now I can have small, medium, and large. Just playing around with it, medium is the one to go with, and it just opened that up. So that gives me like larger uh, table row size. So if I go into settings, for example, I'm sorry, if I go into offsets, let's try that. See how much bigger it is? It's a much different look than typical Haas UIs. Uh, the nice thing about this, it makes moving from screen to screen so much easier. One of the pain points that us Haas users have all kind of gotten used to over the years is navigating your offsets page going from the tool offset to the work offset. Usually you have to go page up or hit home and then up arrow and now our, our tab is highlighted then go over to work and then down. Well, now instead of going up and down, you simply touch tool and then you can go to exactly the tool offset you want. The other thing is it has the modern, I guess, uh, Windows type scroll bars. So if you want, you can grab and just scroll through. Now it is just a little bit buggy at this point. Um, if you didn't know this, if you click with your mouse in the gray portion of a window screen, that will jump a full page over. You have the same functionality with the Haas touchscreen. Um, but I haven't had great luck uh, clicking the bar and scrolling. See, I can scroll this way, but when I try and go back the other way, it doesn't work. It's a little bug. Again, beta, um, I would expect that. And then the, again, the touch points aren't super great, but I mean, I'll tell you this much, it's so nice to just go, I wanna go there instead of arrowing over and tabbing and going up and down, just to touch. Work, G154, P1, I can instantly start entering things. Now, another really cool addition is how the editor works. So I got a basic program loaded. I'm gonna go into edit and say I wanna copy and paste blocks. Instead of going up here and hitting F2 and highlighting and then you can copy and paste, it works a lot like um, uh, uh, the text editing functionality in iPhone or Android. You simply grab it and you drag 
and then it has these markers, start and end points, and then it pops up this contextual menu, uh, copy, cut, clear selection, um, or you can just touch it. If I actually wanted to start typing some code, just touch where I wanna go, it has an on-screen QWERTY keyboard, not this alphabetical keyboard, actual QWERTY that is just more familiar to those of us that know how to touch type. Um, it's got, it just looks like that. Uh, you can actually click and drag and move it around so it's not in your way. That's a nice little functionality. And um, it, when you're done, just click X to get rid of it. And it just works like an actual touchscreen should. Now, one of the works in progress that Haas has is this little hamburger type of menu. Now, when I touch that, what it does is it brings up uh, these eight icons that exactly match these display icons right here. So it's a little bit of work in progress because they do the same thing. Now, if I wanted to go into my offsets page, I would touch the hamburger menu and then the offsets or the keypads simply go directly to it. So it's a bit like two different ecosystems, either a full keypad plus screen or touch screen only. I like that I'm given that option but I don't think it makes perfect sense in having that always active with even a slight delay. Uh, again, work in progress. So far, my operators really enjoy working with it. Um, it kind of takes a little bit of retraining of the brain because we're going through the buttons and the rituals of how we're used to navigating the old uh, controls or the current controls when you can just touch it and go right to it. But one thing that they've raved about is definitely when you're in the offsets page or even current commands of having to hit F4 to switch boxes between the groups and the individual tools. You just go directly to exactly what you want to go to and you don't have to hit the F4 button and mess around with all these different key, keypad combinations. It's just so nice to go exactly to what you wanna see with the touch of a button. So hopefully this is a good overview of Haas's new touchscreen control that's gonna be rolling out to new machines in 2020. If you're into this type of stuff or even wanna know more about the UMC 500, we're gonna have plenty more videos, so consider subscribing. And until next time, go innovate your production.